Hello everyone, this is Amani Sajuddin from Mapify Lab. Welcome back to the Flutter e-commerce app UI design tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to continue from where we left off in the last part. So we had done this much in the last part. Now that we have our bottom navigation bar and app bar all set up, let's continue with the body. So let's start by adding a body. I'm going to take container as the body of the scaffold. And inside container, I will be passing a column. As here we see our elements are laid down from top to bottom. So we'll use column. Let's give it a child. Now, as you see, there are so many elements in our UI design. So we know that all this will not fit into a screen and we should have a scroll view. So I'll be wrapping my scaffold body with the single child scroll view. This will prevent any overflow. So now you won't see any changes. Next thing I'll do is Pick the background color and set it. I'm using the HTML color code again. And there we have it. Let's start adding the columns children. I'll take a container and let me comment it and mark it as a search text field. Note it down here. Now let's start by giving this container a color and a height. Suppose 180, let's give it a color. I'm going to copy the color of the app bar. And here I paste it. So now you can see the container on, screen, on the screen. So as the container height seems to be too big, let's resize it and make it smaller to fit the UI. And let's pass the child a text field. Text field is a widget that takes the user input and it has a variety of configuration options. So let's start by decorating it using the decoration property. We have input decoration. I will start by giving it a fill color. white um, but no changes that's because we need to set another property before this works that is the filled property making it true and see the magic happen okay we've got the color now as you see in the design there is a margin and padding around this text field. So let's add that. Okay. 
we'll give it some pad content padding dark symmetric I'll give some padding in the vertical direction. Now let's add some padding to the container. That looks much better. Let's continue styling the text field. We need to add a hint text and a hint icon. So let's do that. Hint text. Find best deal. Let's style this hint text using hint style property, which takes in text style. I'm going to resize the font. 13 okay looks good let's change the color now let me use some light accent of gray with some opacity okay now let's add the icon for that we have a property called prefix icon and I'll pass in an icon here. As we see that the text moves up, so let's try removing this content padding. Looks fine now, so let's continue. Now we need to add some border radius to this container as I see. So let's do that. For border radius, we have a property called border and we'll add outline input border. Inside this, we can specify the border radius. I'll give it a value of 5. Okay, that's it, we're done. Now let's check out what's the next element that we need to implement. Okay, so we have this image. As I showed you that I've already imported all the images and defined them in the pubspec.yaml file as here. So let's go and pick up the image. Probably I named it offer.jpg. Let's check it. And yeah, it is. So let's go on. And build a new container over here which will take in the image so let's give it some padding I'll give it in all directions define its height say 180 now let's pass on its child the image I'll be using an asset image slash images slash offer dot jpg Here we get our image. 
That's all for this video. If you want to access the whole source code, then follow these few easy steps. If you haven't already subscribed to our YouTube channel, then do it right away. Check out our Facebook page, hit like. Once you're done, send us a message and we'll send you the whole source code for free. If you found this video helpful or have any related questions, feel free to leave your feedback in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in another video. Till then, keep fluttering.